Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about speech bubbles and thinking bubbles. Okay. Now, we use speech bubbles and thinking bubbles when we are want our character to speak. Okay. Normally, we would write it all out and we would have to put said mom or shouted the boy or cried the little girl or whispered Ranny. But we don't have to do that when we're talking about speech bubbles. You've seen speech bubbles before because they're in comics. Sometimes they're on posters and some of you even have some of them in your reading books along with the written text at the bottom. Okay. But this is a book. It's a bit tatty, can you see? This book has been well read by my children and it's about Father Christmas. I know this is summertime, but this is a good book for this, okay? So in this book, it's mainly pictures. Hardly anything is written. But when it is written, it's written in the bubble. Now, every single thing that the person is saying has to be inside the bubble. And the normal rules of writing still apply. So we still have capital letter, full stop or question mark or explanation mark, and we still have it written in proper neat English. Can I give you a wee tip? When you're making your speech bubble, do your writing first, then draw your speech bubble around it. Okay, because if it's not in the speech bubble, we can't say it. Okay. Here, not even any writing. It's a picture because he's thinking. Do you see the little bubbles underneath? That means he hasn't said it out loud. It's just coming into his mind. So that is a think bubble. And this one is a speech bubble with the pointy bit on the end. Okay. I'm going to find a page in here. There we go. Okay. Now, the pictures tell us more than the words do. But we need the words to explain how Santa is think, feeling. Okay. And I know. And the reason I think Santa's not very happy is because up here he is complaining about the blooming snow. Explanation mark, not happy, wants to say it out loud and loud and proud. And here, rain now, what next? With a question mark, because he is asking a question to the reindeers, I think. And here, it's got lots of oh sounds. And then he says, weather, with an explanation mark, because he's really cross with the weather. Okay, and then, fuck, with an explanation mark, okay? Now your brain can put together the pictures with the very few words, but we know exactly how Santa's feeling and why he's feeling like that, okay? So, here's a little thing. Here are two pictures. I want you to have a think about this. This one, can you see that? That's my two girls when they were very little. I think Verity was two and Natalia would be about four. Okay. So, what do you think Verity is saying? I think she's saying, hurry up and take this photograph, Mummy, because I want to go and play. And Natalia, what do you think Natalia was saying? I think Natalia was saying, I love this pretty dress. Look, I'll hold it out. You can see. Okay. You have to go and tell you what you think they were saying. And this is a picture of Liam when he was just a little boy in the bath. Now, he wasn't a very good talker at this point. He's only about six months old. But I know he did a lot of thinking because I could see his wee brain turning over. 
and gathering in all the information and thinking. So what do you think Liam was thinking in the bath? Hmm? Have a think. You've got a task to do, which says, have a look at your reading book, choose a character, and tell me what you think they were saying. Okay? So...